about? I just Googled what a puppet is. It was horrible. Turns out some guy is controlling me with his hand <laughs> my... Let's just learn about Mars. And finished. Finished what? The hyperdrive. Now we can jump millions of miles in seconds. Oh, cool. But can a microwave popcorn? What? No. What a wasted opportunity. We're gonna need this hyperdrive because today we are traveling to Mars. Oh, cool. Can Mars microwave popcorn? Since when do you have such a big obsession with popcorn? Hey, Roberta, when was I born? January 14th, 1989. Since then. Well, I promise you can ask Mars when we get there if she has any popcorn. She? Wow. It's about time you had a girl character. It's only been about six years. Hey, we have very limited resources. So how far away is Mars? When Mars and Earth are at their closest point, they are about 33.9 million miles apart. But when I hit this button, we'll be there in seconds. Are you ready? Ready for what? What? For me to hit the button that I've been talking about for five minutes. You mean this one? Whoa, it's so big. Actually, Mars is only a little bit bigger than half of Earth. In fact, it is the second smallest planet in our solar system. Quick, make a talk. Why, so you can ask it to make popcorn? Maybe. Okay, fine. That is the sole reason I wanted to talk. But we can ask it other stuff too, after it makes popcorn. Well, here goes nothing. Hey, big boys. What? Big boys? Can you back up a little bit? You're kind of a little bit too close. That's better, thanks. Wow, you're really red. You gotta stay out of the sun, Mars. You're getting sunburned. I'm a little self-conscious about that. Thanks a lot. For real, why are you so red? The answer to the ultimate question is simple. Mars is red because the rocks and soil on its surface are mostly made of iron. But I've seen iron before, and it's never really red, though. But it's so simple. Have you ever seen iron that's become rusty? Yeah. And what color was it? Like a reddishy orange color, just like Mars. Exactamundo. Mars is red because the iron on the surface has been exposed to oxygen and became rust-like. I always thought it was because I was blushing. I blush when I get scared, or nervous, or hungry. Well, are you nervous? Mm, no. Are you scared? No, just hungry, a little sleepy, that's all. Hey, wait a second, what's that on your head? Is it a bug? If it is, can you get it for me? I have no arms. No, it's some white stuff. Oh, that's my hat. What? No, it's definitely not a hat. Oh, is it a hat? Didn't I just say no? Oh. It's probably just a hat. Kind of looks like ice. Oh, yeah. That's my ice hat. What? I had no idea there was water on Mars. There is water on Mars, but only in the form of ice. The only place where ice is visible on Mars is at its North Pole. Wait a second. Mars has a North Pole? Whoa. That means there's an alien Santa. I bet he brings all the Mars kids lots of cool Mars toys. Like Mars Barbies. Barbies! Or like Mars Monopoly. Mars Napoli! Or like Beaker Creatures, who are kindly sponsoring this video. What about moons? What about them? Do you have any? Uh-huh, I have two. Mars's two moons are named Phobos and Dimas. Those are some weird names. How'd you get them? Well, Mars is named after the Roman god of war. Another name for the god of war to the Greeks was Ares, and Ares had two twins, Phobos and Dimas. Great, now I gotta go my entire life being called Dimas. Imagine, imagine that on the playground. Well, who's coming over tonight? Uh, Billy, Frank, John, and Dimas. Yeah, that, that's, that's my life. And I'm actually named after the Roman god of mayonnaise. It's a highly underrated condiment. Will this day ever end? Hey, speaking of days, how long is a day on Mars? Well, a day on Earth is pretty much the same as a day on Mars. Actually, a Martian day is roughly 37 minutes longer than a day on Earth. A Martian year 
is what is really different than Earth. How so? Well, one year on Earth is 365 days. A year on Mars is about 687 Earth days. This is because Mars moves at a slower pace around the sun. Wow, Mars is crazy. <laughs> you think that's crazy? Try talking about Mars's gravitational force. Now the force is what gives the Jedi his power. Uh, I meant the other force. Alrighty then. The gravitational force on Mars is much weaker than Earth. It's so weak that you would weigh less on Mars than you do on Earth. Whoa. So I'm 155 pounds on Earth. How much would I weigh there? About 59 pounds. So now we know. No need to diet before beach season. Just go to Mars. Good thinking. Hey, does Mars have beaches? No beaches. But we do have Olympus Mons. Elliptical Mom? I'm limping in Tom's? The shoe? No, she said Olympus Mons. Oh! She totally said A Wrinkle in Time. What? It's, it's a pretty bad movie, but it's got Oprah in it. And she, she hands out cars. Olympus Mons is a massive Mars mountain and the biggest volcano in our solar system. Olympus Mons is three times higher than Earth's biggest mountain, Mount Everest. Wow. How does it feel to have such a big volcano on Mars? It's very itchy. Can you scratch it? I don't have arms. Uh, no. Also, Olympus Mons is said to be so big that if you were standing atop of it, you could see the curvature of the planet from its peak. Whoa. Wow. This is so cool. We get to travel to outer space, talk to our nearest neighboring planet, learn tons of cool space facts, and... What's wrong, Andy? You look bored. I kinda am. Can we go home now? We get to talk to a giant planet and you want to go home? What's the rush? Planets are cool and all, but uh, my new toy came in and I kinda want to play with them. Mm, they can't wait until later? No. They need me. Sorry, Mars. We gotta go. My blue friend here has new toys that came, and we have to go home and play with them. It's fine. I'll probably just watch some TV and take a little nap. Maybe eat some snacks. I take a bathroom break. Hey! Where'd they go? Nine hours later. <laughs> Are you sure this is what you ordered? I think so. Where'd you order it from, Mars? Maybe. Go ahead and open it. Uh, come on, what are you, yellow? I'm actually blue. Fine. Let's make some beaker creatures. We'll open it. All right, uh, what do you say we do like one of those fast montages so we don't waste three minutes showing people opening a box? Oh, it's cool, you have the Astrolites, the Oceanites, the Frostonians, Buglets, Minisaurus, and limited edition, 24 carats. Wow, that's a lot of carrots. No, not those kind of carrots, it means like the Whatever, let's just assemble this thing. Well, it's only six steps to assemble it, so it shouldn't take that. And done. Well, that was easy. This is pretty cool. It's like a science experiment, but you can also collect these guys. Well, what's his name? It says here that his name is Bello. And since he's in a blue reactor pod, that means he's an oceanite. Wow. And it's cool. There's so many different colors, and we can make a ton of these guys. What's wrong, Andy? No, I just wish Mars were here. You guys have beaker creatures? I want some. Thank you for all those cards and letters. You folks in television land. We wonder where this television land is. This video is sponsored by the awesome learning resource, Beaker Creatures. Want your own beaker creatures to collect and experiment with at home? Check out learningresources.com backslash beaker creatures. 
Check the description box for a link. We have very limited resources. Trolls. <laughs> so hard for. So hard to do. Hurtsbaker doing his gear. He's a good man. He's got the Hurtsbaker. He's got Erzberilda. I don't know. That's it.